Hi guys and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 with AC Milan A massive episode today, by far the biggest episode of the series Taking on Bilbao today to try to get the semi-final of the Europa League And then we're in Turin against Juventus But we won't look forward to that game just now We'll do what we need to do, we'll beat what's in front of us as we're taking on Bilbao. So we're going to be playing Donnarumma, Barzagli, Bonucci, Romagnoli, Conte, Calabria, Locatelli, Kessi, Chalanoglu, Bonaventura and we're going to be playing Kalinic up front as he's, he's done pretty well recently, you have to say, the big the big Croatian. He's done really well recently, scored a couple of important goals, including a goal away from home when we took on Bilbao in Spain. So Bilbao going with a 4-2-3-1, very positive, very aggressive from them coming here. We do have the three away goals of course from the first game. So as things stand, Bilbao do need a goal and if we score they need two. Conte coming forward here, whipping the ball in and it's easy for Kepa to pick it up. Basically Bilbao need to beat us today or they need to get a ridiculous draw like 3-3 three, three or more. And Aki Williams and Adoriz both playing with Knox today and most of their players look absolutely exhausted. And Aki Williams actually missed the first leg, which I was pretty pleased about because he's a very tricky player. Uh, nice beating Everton. Napoli 1-1 against Hoffenheim. Shakhtar beating Hertha Berlin. I believe that would put Hertha Berlin out. Napoli now 2-1 up against Hoffenheim, which will put Hoffenheim out. Uh, Calabria now with a throw to Bonaventura as we look to try and take the lead here in Milan against Bilbao. The stadium s sort of full, a couple of seats, but it's not as empty as it's been in other stages of the season. Romagnoli, Locatelli bounces off Bonaventura, Kessie rescues it, Bonaventura to Locatelli, Chalinoglu, and it's bounced off Kessie and Vesga will play it forward. Williams can't get there though, Calabria, brilliant recovery, Romagnoli to Bonaventura, he goes forward for Kalinic, it's a decent pass, Kalinic holding it up, scoops it out to Conte, it's a great ball, Conte with a nice touch, angles it in, Kalinic arrives, and it's a brilliant goal from Nikola Kalinic, who honestly has absolutely flipped my opinion. He has been magnificent in these last couple of games brilliant stuff and I'm glad he's joining permanently and it's it's 1-0 now Bilbao needing two goals or could we grab another actually Chalinoglu in Barzagli has got a free header and it's a good save by Kepa but Barzagli with so much time to pick his spot should really have been heading that down I think it was a great save by the goalkeeper as Chalinoglu looks to deliver this corner, Berzagli's in there, it's actually dropped over his head and then the ball's been hammered clear, Conte to Locatelli now as we continue to boss the game in the first half, it's now another corner, Chalinoglu delivering it, edge of the box, Locatelli smashes it goalwards and it's just over the bar, that would have been a hell of a goal but um, yeah, I'm not really expecting that to fly in from that distance it was a very ambitious effort but it is 1-0 to Milan at half time Bilbao needing the two goals even if they'd scored all of their shots in that first half they would only have the one um, looking, at the, looking at the bench not really MD I want to bring on at the moment let's just tell them to concentrate and Aki Williams is off for Susieta and I believe he's injured as well actually Susieta I believe scored in the first game against us, Locatelli to Bonucci and Berzagli as we win it back early on in the second half, good way to set the tone, Nice now 2 up against Everton, Napoli 3 up against Hoffenheim, Chalinoglu with a free kick over the wall and just over the bar unfortunately, uh, yeah and Shakhtar also 2-0 uh, up against Hertha Berlin, Shakhtar 3 up against Hertha Berlin, it looks like Napoli, Shakhtar and Hoffenheim going through, Hertha have a goal back though, one more will put uh, Hertha through all of a sudden, as Raul Garcia to the edge of the box, Navera hammers it and it's well well wide of the mark we do have to be careful actually in our own game one goal for Bilbao and all of a sudden it's panic stations so we have to make sure that we manage this game in a professional manner we've got 20 minutes left or so as Merino comes on for Muniain I'm going to throw Catroni on now for the goal scorer Kalinic uh, about 15 minutes remaining we're just going to make use of these subs here uh, Bilia can come on for Locatelli who's had a decent game today Everybody's been decent pretty much, nobody's been great, nobody's been poor. Uh, Romagnoli looks like man of the match with a 7.1. Uh, who else do we throw on? Um, I'm going to toss on Sportelli rather than Barzagli there. He can just get a little bit of time at the end of the game to finish it out. It looks like a 1-0 victory, 4 ended minutes. Bilbao certainly won't be getting 2 goals here. Uh, they won't be getting any goals. Chalinoglu will deliver this. I think they will head it away and that will be game time. It's in towards Kessie, it's headed away. Bilia takes a nice touch here. 
holds it up, angles it to Cotroni, he picks the ball up now, come on ref, we're over time, blow the whistle, Cotroni to Chalanoglu, we're waiting for the whistle, Chalanoglu to Kessie, it's an one back well by Vesga, Marino clears it, and it is the whistle, we are in the semi-final, it's a good clean sheet as well, home to Bilbao, well done lads, semi-final of the Europa League, Napoli, Nice, and Shakhtar Donetsk will be joining us. Hopefully, we draw Napoli or Nice. Shakhtar are a pretty good team. Don't really well. Maybe I want Shakhtar then. A team that I get to play home and away rather than a team I have to play in a one-off game. Maybe I would rather Shakhtar. Obviously, the hope is that if Shakhtar drew one of the other teams, they would lose that game, and then we wouldn't have to deal with them at all. But if we're going to deal with them, I'd rather deal with them home and away rather than in a one-off neutral game. But we don't get to decide, obviously. We'll be dealing with that with whatever we get in the draw here for the semi-final. The semi-final of the Europa League, the first leg, will be played at San Siro as Milan host Nice, who have already played, of course, in the group stage. Shakhtar will play Napoli, of course, the first leg being in Ukraine. If we look, actually, at our games against Nice, um, we beat them. Where are we? Nice, 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 Nice. We beat them 3-2 in France, and we lost 2-1 at home. So we would have been through on away goals off of those games, but we did rotate for the last, that was the last game of the group, and we'd won every single game up to that point, and we did rotate. Now again, we certainly won't be rotating in Juventus, play host to second place AC Milan as we travel to Turin, to the Juventus Stadium, in a game that very well could have a large say in where the title ends up. They beat us today. It's a four-point gap. With one game in hand. We draw, two-point gap, one game in hand. We win somehow, then... Uh, <laughs> we win, then we'd, we'd have a two-point lead with a game in hand, which would be absolutely nuts. Uh, Inter-Roma, doesn't really matter. Udinese, 6-1 winners at Atalanta, that's nuts. PSG beating Monaco in the big game in France, and Roma beat Inter Milan. Um, While well, I remember to check, yeah, Bastoni is on loan from Inter. Ah, Inter have already snapped up Bastoni, that is a damn shame. Okay, here we go, it's time. Barzagli and Bonucci going back to Turin to face Juventus. We beat them 2 nothing earlier on in the season. We did ride our luck, don't get me wrong. We didn't go and trash them or anything. And we're going to be playing... How are we going to be playing? Hmm. Do we play with two up? Do we play with Kalinic and... Kut? I don't think we do. I think we... I think we keep with what we've been doing. I think what we've been doing has been working really well for us. Perhaps it's too positive to take away to Juventus and hope to get something out of it. And with Calabria suspended, that is bad news. Um, Paletta's going to have to... Oof, Paletta can step in. Right, hold on, let's have a look here. Who can do it? Oh, well, Paletta kind of can, actually, apparently. Or is he only there because he's actually already selected? Let's check. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So nobody can really do it at all. Can Romagnoli do it better than him? Um, yeah, Romagnoli can do it a tiny bit better. Um, give him a defensive role. And I guess we're going to have to go with that, and that really is a problem. Juventus are not the kind of team that you can afford to have players playing out of position. I mean... Who can do it? Calabria and Rodriguez, who are both out anyway. So we're just going to have to go with what we have. Same thing, more or less, that played against Bilbao. It's going to be really tough here. 4 2 3 1 from Juventus. A hell of a team. I mean, look at the stars that they have in their team. Pretty much every one of them gets into our side. Uh, particularly Higuain and Dybala, of course. But all we can do. All we can do is tell them to show some passion today and try and play our game. Might we get beat? Absolutely. Might we get smashed? Absolutely. But I'd rather try and play our game 
and end up getting beat by a better team than retreat into our shell and not believe in ourselves. Forward it goes, Kalinic picking it up now. Can we nick something here? Kalinic holding it up, doing really well. Back to Conte. Can he drill it across? He loses it. It's Locatelli. Oh, and it's just wide. Almost Milan taking lead early on. And if we score, actually, if we score, then the head to head thing could well be in our favour. They lost 2 0, of course, when they came to Milan. So even a goal would give us a chance of that head to head advantage. Uh, Dybala now. No foul in the middle. Dybala to Quadrado and Romagnoli's too narrow here, I think. Quadrado with Licksteiner, his acres of space. Nobody on him at all. Cross towards Douglas Costa away. McTweedy nods it back in. But Zagli's misjudged it and Douglas Costa's somehow on side. And it's one nothing to Juventus. Let's just encourage them. Let's not get the heads going down here. So Juventus certainly do seem to be bossing the game. We've got more possession, but when Juventus get the ball, they seem to be doing more damage. Matuidi is injured, but it doesn't seem to be making much of a difference. Throw in to Dybala, who takes it past Locatelli, into Higuain. Oof, Bonucci's put a great block in there, actually, to stop Higuain. It's an absolutely packed Juventus stadium here today. Looks a complete sellout. Looking at the Juventus fans actually hurts my eyes a little bit. Pjanic going for the ball. He will not get there before Bonucci. Bonucci coming forward. I don't expect this to come to anything. Chalinoglu to Kalinic. There is a huge opportunity actually to counter them, but I don't think the chance is here. Kalinic. Bonaventura actually is in. Oof, it's over the bar. All of a sudden, I didn't expect that to come to anything. And Bonaventura's missed an absolute glorious chance. UV not playing particularly well today. We're playing okay. Uh, Chalinoglu has picked up an injury, so he's going to be coming off for. Andre Silva and we'll go with the two up front play probably more direct into them it's not been a terrible first half you would say Juventus probably deserving that lead but we've had two chances of our own where we could have scored uh, time is called on the first half one nothing. Douglas Costa just managing to poach a chance tell them they're unlucky they've not been poor um, we'll bring on where is he we'll bring on Andre Silva for Chalinoglu and we'll go Kalinic and Silva up there together we will go complete forward attack for Silva and we will go advanced forward for Kalinic Bonaventura of course in the middle there himself and let's just do what we can do uh, Portanova is coming on for Matuidi let's have a look at Portanova Jesus Christ 17 years old looks an absolute boss they've obviously just picked him up um, in reality from Lazio uh, Bonin, Bon Bonanucci, Bonucci forward to Romagnoli. Kalinic now finds himself out wide, plays it forward to Locatelli and Kessie to Bonaventura. Can we get something to start the half here? Bonaventura, come on, clip this out wide. It's out wide to Conte, not a brilliant ball, has him tracking back. Locatelli picking it up now into Bonaventura, not bad play, Bonaventura. Locatelli, Conte, there might be something in this. Conte trying to take on the, uh, Alexandro, who puts a good challenge in and it goes out of play. Hmm, 50 minutes gone here. We've had four shots, just two less than UV, but we haven't managed to hit the target with a single one. Which is obviously bad news. We're going to win a game if you kind of get shot on target. Absolutely nothing going on in the game now. With this 1 0 scoreline, you're hesitant to throw it too aggressively forward. We'll be four points behind, but we will have a game in hand. And 1 0 loss actually gives us the positive head to head record which is massive uh, throw in now, Conte will take this I think this was going to happen before I was making the change so it could be a real highlight Bonaventura for Silva, can he find Kalinic can he score, no it's a, one of those stupid things oh, Silva's whipped it low and it's just been turned around the post but, well here we go again Conte now, we've done okay this second half Conte for Bilia, back to Conte can he deliver it, there's a lot in the box, he tries to cut it back Portanova will nick it and launch it, but it should be dealt with well by Bonucci. It is. He's got uh, Paletta there yet to help him. Paletta to Romagnoli. Wide left gets it to Kessie now. Kessie back to Romagnoli, who's not exactly a wing back, doesn't really know what to do with it. Down the line for Kalinic. Can he prov turn provider? He crosses it. Silva's in there and he's headed it over the bar. And yet again, another shot that we've not managed to get on target. With ourselves to blame today. Um, Catroni is going to come on now for Kalinic and see if he can't do anything, but. 
We've got ourselves to blame. Six shots, not a one of them on target. We've created actually probably more clear cut chances than Juve as Chiellini will throw this long and there's a penalty given. Of course there is. Yeah, and there's a booking and it's a red card for Bonaventura, I think for complaining probably. Yep. There's not much I can do about it now. We're just going to have to absolutely play direct football. It's a penalty kick here, number 10, which I believe is Dybala. Dybala against Donnarumma, can he save yet another? Dybala, oh, it just goes in. Well, there we go, we can confirm no glitch on Donnarumma. He just happens to save lots of penalties and now we actually have to push forward because this 2-0 means it's an equal head-to-head -head record which means it goes to goal difference and Juventus have a massive goal difference advantage so we need to score which I can't see happening with 10 men. We couldn't manage it with 11. Chiellini with a long throw into the box. Dybala up for it, header away. Havidez with way too much room. Smashes one. Donnarumma just pushes it away. Mandzukic will be onto it. Mandzukic crosses low but it's easy for... Donnarumma to catch and that's probably going to be the last real action of the game Donnarumma out to Paletta though well there could be something here Paletta thumps it forward Andre Silva takes it down Conte now come on get something jammy Conte to Berzagli now Berzagli to Bilia Bilia scoops it out wide it's easy for Hivarez he'll head it to Pjanic Pjanic forward to Dybala Dybala to Portanova Mandzukic it's just too easy for UV. Mandzukic to Pjanic acres of space how it is. Dybala can go down the right. Yep. Oh, Rob Magnoli nicks it. But it's going to play in Higuain. He didn't need to slide there. He could have just took the ball. Higuain in. Douglas Costa crosses. Portanova. And it's in. Manolo Portanova scores. Juventus 3-0. They've absolutely cruised it. They've cruised it. And they've cruised it because we've let them. We've missed so many chances today. And it comes back to not having that clinical striker that you believe can get you 30 goals like they have in Higuain Douglas Costa now let's just end the pain ref blow the damn whistle here Ro Magnoli wins it back plays it to Paletta he lumps it long for Catroni takes it down on the chest coming forward out to the right Conte picks it up come on drive forward try and get me a goal here Mm, Conte hacked down will be a free kick probably going to be time though we probably won't won't get to take it if we can take it, we can lump it into the box. Who knows, but I kind of see it happening. Alexandro booked 15th card of the season for him, or yellow card of the season. It's going to be whipped in by Bilia, but I don't see much happening. Oh, no, it's not. We're not even going to get to take it. Fair enough. It is 3 nothing to Juventus. We did not manage a single shot on target. I am not happy with the performance. Let's talk to the attack. Talk to them aggressively. I'm disappointed with the quality of the finishing. Catrone seemed down and pressurised. I do not care. It was piss poor. Not getting a single shot on target all game. Uh, Bonaventura's going to get a warning. And the assistant's going to get a really frosty press conference. So, next next episode, we beat Bilbao, of course, to go through to the semi-final against Nice. But we were kind of swept aside a little bit by Juve because of our own poor finishing. Uh, and then obviously giving away that needless penalty so it depends what way you're going to look at it I suppose I would say it's not a bad episode if we win our game in hand we're still only one point behind Juve so we just have to keep positive if we actually look at Juventus next time out in Serie A they're away at Lazio which could be a tricky game you never know but yes I'm not too disappointed to be honest we didn't think we would be challenging Juventus at all until a couple of episodes ago when they started really slipping up badly so hopefully they slip up again when they take on Lazio in Rome but I hope you guys have enjoyed this one please drop down below and leave a like if you have if you want to follow the series you can subscribe to the channel and just yeah thanks for watching the videos and we'll be taking on Verona and Bologna next time at home looking to get two victories before we square off against Nice in that Europa League game at San Siro so I'll see you next time for Verona and Bologna.